What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistra and one your host, and welcome to another video in our series for the RPC S3, which is a PlayStation 3 emulator running on PC in 4K. Today's video, we're going to be going over Hideo Kojima's masterpiece, Metal Gear Solid 3. This is the substance version that actually comes with Metal Gear Solid HD. So, yes, you can play this on the PS3 in HD, but, however, we can actually play it in 4K on the PC because of an emulator. I'll show you the specs of the emulator at the end of this video, so you can check it out then. For now, we're just going to go ahead and get into the game. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, and let me know if you want me to keep this series alive, and uh, what are some other games you guys like to see. So, of course, it's go time. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch.
Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Oh, and Snake? Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. Time for the snake to shed his skin. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. As you can see, I have kind of spliced down the video a little bit. Uh, took away some of the cutscenes to get you into the action a little bit quicker because I'm sure the cinemas still look great in 4K But you guys want to see a little bit of the gameplay So there is going to be some missing cinematics just so I can make it move along a little bit better But I'll still not leave you confused as to what's kind of going on and what our main objective is But the game runs perfectly smooth even though it says the game is not playable in RPC 3 or uh, RPCS3, it is completely playable. There's just a few graphical glitches that you're going to see a little bit later on, but other than that, at least this first um, virtuous mission is completely play uh, playable. So let's keep it going. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Of course, one of the greatest aspects of this game was the camouflage system in the backpack, allowing you to be able to mix and match different items, use them to your abilities, whatever you feel like you want to use as far as, far as different types of radar and different types of weapons and um, kind of side things that you can use just to make your experience better. But I really love messing with the camouflage system. Um, you don't really need to do too much with the camouflage system if you're playing this on European Extreme and you're going for like a big boss ranking as there are strategies that I've already shown you all for getting around each and every single enemy. However, that's not the purpose of this video. This video is just mainly to show you off in the highest fidelity that the game can offer on the PC. So I want to show a few different aspects of the game itself which is using, you know, eating and then doing some of the camouflage to get around. We're going to be taking a few enemies out. We're going to, of course, remain stealthy because that's what you guys expect on this channel, even when we're playing something that we're showing it off for a different reason than just to be stealthy. But the game still just looks so amazing, and this game came out back in 04, and I just remember when this game came out, I was just... I mean, I played this for days upon days upon days. Just so excited to play more. I mean, I just could not put it down. I love the story elements, I love the cutscenes, I know a lot of people don't really like cutscenes, but I do. And in the substance version, as you can see, you can switch between third person and a over-the-top camera, like the original games. I always prefer third person though, as I feel like it puts you closer to Snake and it feels more modern.
Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. So this part is like your first true entry into learning the mechanics of going up against enemies and stealth gameplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get again. You can see that our camouflage is 60% against this tree. So we're going to go in and we're going to pick the tree bark. Obviously, when you're against a tree, this is going to be your best camouflage to do. Now, you don't even have to do this. You can literally get by this guy without him looking. But I'm just showing you how the camouflage system works and how it just runs so smooth on the PC that it almost feels like playing a new completely different game there's really no hiccups there's no frame dips in the gameplay and it's just so smooth even though this camouflage really doesn't match this tree as you can see this tree has green and brown spots but our camouflage is slightly a different color but we're 90 percent now remember this is on normal this is not on european extreme the numbers would be significantly lower but it would still be the best to use and we're using the stalk method here which is using the d-pad i'm using an xbox one x controller for those that want to know, and we're going to switch back to a normal type of outfit for this area. Now, I never did agree with squares being the best outfit, but what I think it does is it doesn't match the environment, it matches the ground. So if you look at the ground when we come out of here, you'll see that the ground has that type of uh, environment right there. However, everything above the ground doesn't really match it too much, but the ground does. So once you get into like this right here you'll notice that we're negative 30 now and we're only five percent on the ground we're 65 percent which is a good enough camouflage to sneak past all of these enemies so there was a total of two enemies here we passed one already just now and then we're about ready to pass this guy stealth in this game isn't too difficult um but it's still really really you know fun to play Of course, you guys know me well enough that we're going to mess with the enemy a little bit. Don't get confused and shoot the one that's on the left. That's just fruit or food. So you need to shoot the right one. Now, in the, the other difficulties, there'll be more people here, but it's the same effect. Wait until he crosses about midway, then you can go. That way you're not seen. But you can see our camouflage is really low right now. So we want to make sure that we switch back, which Tiger Stripe is going to give us a plus 40 advantage, as well as Woodland on our face. Now, you need to stay in the middle here. If you uh, slightly go left or right on the bridge, you could fall off, which I think was really cool. And now we're going to get up to the final section of what I'm going to show off here, which is the, uh, the little stealth area. We're going to take out a few enemies. We're going to watch the cutscenes that happen. And then we're going to show you guys what I'm working with as far as the settings for the emulator itself. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? 
Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. First things first, now I've figured out how to get by this without taking anyone out, and you can watch that in my previous walkthrough that I did on uh, European Extreme, Big Boss Run. But here, just take out that guy, and then uh, if you're quick enough, you can shoot this guy before he goes around that, but we're just going to wait on the other side here. Again, this is on normal, there's more enemies on the harder difficulty level, so this really isn't that tough. But you can get by it without taking anyone out. We can use the lean mechanic here, so we can shoot him, and then that's pretty much all you have to worry about. There are other guards, but they will not see you from where you're currently located. We can go in and talk to Sokolov, and then we can watch one of the most awesomer cutscenes in the game. Men, you'll never get it from me. No, I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah, I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now 
Get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Another one. I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good.
And there you go. Now, you noticed in the cutscenes that there was these black lines on the bottom of the screen that would kind of go around. So, think of it this way. When they're creating a game, they're creating a game that has all of these under elements that you do not see. They pretty much turn it off so you don't see all the wires and all the graphics and stuff that are underneath the game. Well, for whatever reason on this emulator, it shows some of the black lines that are surrounding characters and cutscenes. And that's the only, only thing is I don't know how to take that off. I think you have to mess around with settings or maybe it's not possible to take it off yet. As new versions of the emulator come out, they get better and better as far as being able to um, have those types of glitches not occur. Because you didn't see that in the regular game, but you see it on here. So, unfortunately, that's the only graphical issue that shows, at least for me, in the game. Um, and yes, we just uh, shot Ocelot in the, uh, the gonads. But don't worry, it was non-lethal, so we did not create a time paradox. But as you can see, the game just still, to this day... 17, you know, six, 16, 17 years later, just still absolutely looks magnificent and amazing. And I've played this game to death. I've, I've done multiple walkthroughs on the channel. I would love to do the game again. Maybe I'll do it at some point again in 4K to even give you guys better fidelity. But uh, now let's go ahead and get to the part where I would promise you guys where I can show you off the settings that I'm using. There's really nothing to see. Is What I'm using is pretty much basic settings. Um, so let's take a look. So this itself is uh, the RPC S3. I haven't really showed this off too much previously. So we're going to go to the CPU and GPU settings, and I'll go down the line, and you guys can take a look. So we're playing this using the Vulcan engine in 4K. You can see the slider is uh, up to 4K, so don't get confused by that saying 720p. Now, there's another thing that you have to do in order to be able to get what you see here. And um, that's a little difficult to do. There's a few extra steps that you have to do. But I'm just showing you uh, the settings that I you know, used to run on this. You have to pretty much take out the... Um, I, can't, I don't even remember the name of it. Is, is, is I just pretty much learned it myself. It allows you to run the game at over 60 even when you're playing in 4K. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again so much for watching. Let me know if you like these videos and if you want to see more. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Peace out.